Good morning, everybody. First, I want to tell you guys the reason I'm wearing a hat is because my quarantine cue ball, if you recall, uh, didn't grow in as well as uh, well as I'd liked it to. So looks like I'm going to have to go back to a professional. Um, my topic today is Juneteenth. And now many of you have started seeing things about Juneteenth on television and uh, the celebrities and all these other folks talking about it. But, you know, I think from a white person's perspective, and again, some of the stuff, especially the racial stuff I'm talking about, I'm trying to explain how white people think to white people and to black people. You know, I came from a uh, southern New Jersey town, and um, the people I knew that weren't hateful toward African Americans, they were dismissive in the least. So that's what I grew up in with. The interesting thing is that the more I see Juneteenth being played in the media, the more I realize that this is one of the most significant days in the history of our country. And it's just some ancillary uh, day. Um, we have, it seems like, it seems like Americans, they only celebrate days that we have off from school or drink in commemoration of Juneteenth. I think we need to start getting people out of prison and we need to start talking about prison reform. Um, when John Legend and Common won the Oscar for Selma, they mentioned that about how many black males are incarcerated and it's a lot and if you ever see the film 13th um, it speaks very very uh, in depth about how when the 13th amendment was uh, was passed we just came up with a new way to uh, enslave people which was to put them in jail make them work um, all this, all this is something that I've been learning over the last several years, and I'm just starting to realize that's what these protests are. We're talking to all these companies like Lego and CBS and all these companies that are talking about doing all these things. The celebrities who are like, oh, I take responsibility. They're friggin' rich people who are just saying that. You know, we need to, as peers, we need to, we, as peers, we need to be able to talk to one another. People in the same economic bracket, okay, and the same economic bracket as the African Americans we see. We need to lift them up and say, you know what? This day is friggin' important to me too. You know what I mean? It's important to me too. Um, this isn't me trying to preach to you guys. This is me trying to share my ignorance with you so that you can understand that some people, A, some people aren't ignorant by choice. Uh, or if the, it was by choice, um, there are ways to kind of wake up from this. And also, uh, white people, this is a friggin' important day. I'm going to start with, with lighter stuff next week, but I just didn't want to have, with all the talk about Juneteenth and everything that's been going on, I didn't want to just make today one of my light days. So, hope you guys have a really nice weekend. And um, I love you all. All right.